one. They only forgot how to count for like a couple of seconds. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have a problem. I don't know what kind, but it's. <laughs> it was a. <laughs> it was a weird period where if I was counting down, I would skip the number thirteen. Hmm? I mean, like I wouldn't even think about it. I go straight from thirteen, fourteen to twelve, and I don't know why. Thirteen reasons why. No, it was nothing to do with that. I don't know. It would just be sometimes where I'd like actively forget a number and I wouldn't think about it until like a couple of like after a second or two, I'd be like, hang on, I'm, mi I'm missing something here. That's a missing number. <laughs> uh, do you want to introduce our podcast? Or... Oh, yeah, that bit. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to all the films we judged before. I'm Katie, and that is Lily Kay. Yeah, it's like that. This is, it's just hello. So, beautiful. The, the Brennan face. He does yeah. that a lot. <laughs> uh, we are tired. That's um, yeah. news flash again. Which Katie is why Louis we were here. Tired again. <laughs> but we were like super tired last week. It's just like there's no episodes. I think it's rough. It we were. Rough. Uh, we both were busy and yep. tired, yep. and it needed a break. <laughs> It did, it did. And we had a great celebration, so you basically got mm. two episodes in one. True. You can, you can say that. Very true. Um, before we uh, uh, go anywhere, I mean, with, with the movie I think talking, this is it, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's, this is it. But yeah. uh, I, I will shamelessly self-promote our work. Oh, okay, we're doing that. Okay. We, you yes, go do we, that. We, we, we're going to do that, yes. So, this is my book. And uh, it 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 was written by me, but if it were for dearest Katie over there on the other side, this wouldn't exist. I... And <laughs> a little behind the scenes, this copy actually is the one that I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that's not the the real. It... It's like it's it's like it's it's real enough. The, the stuff, all the stuff that's in it is all it's her a... words. Yes, but like we're not entirely sure where it went wrong. We don't. It, know. It's something happened. And uh, an old version of the and it, it, up to about chapter ten. Uh, it was fine up, until then. <laughs> it was like <laughs> edited up until that point, and then the rest of the book just like because I mean, here's the thing. So for whatever reason, Amazon um, has weird um, distribution Very centers weird. and all that sort of stuff. So we couldn't actually get the, her her books to her in Hungary. <laughs> so she used went through Amazon UK and got it sent to me. Yes. And I picked it up and went, wow, this is amazing. I was looking through it and I was like, hang on. There's a bunch of quotation marks. I swear I fixed all it because some of the quotation marks in the original copy were in the wrong font. Yes. It was all strange. And I'm not sure what happened. And I was like, I fixed all of these. This is very strange. And I would just kept looking through. I was like, man, there's, there's a lot of these. I definitely fixed all of these. And then I was like, maybe it was just, maybe I really did just miss it. And then I picked it up like a few days later, like, because I kept going back to it. Because obviously it's like, it's very pretty. It's a nice book. It is. You should buy it. um uh but uh then i went back through and because i guess it was still niggling at me that mm. it was like something was wrong with it yeah um and i went back to some of the old and i was trying to compare it and you know this is the thing i didn't follow it up because i was comparing it to an old file that i had mm. that had duplicated on my thing which you wouldn't have no access to because it wasn't shared with you yeah yeah Lord only knows but um uh, I was comparing it to that and I was like, well, it's the same. So that's very bizarre. And then I realized I was looking at the wrong file. And I realized that specifically when I was looking for a piece of dialogue that I knew that I had put into the yeah. thing. And I was like, that's, I put that in there. This is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yes. We don't know what Google did to us or why, but it just didn't save the file as it should have been. And because I checked the first chapter and that was fine. And then I checked into chapter two and chapter three and I was like, okay, yeah, this looks okay. Check. You, you really have to yeah, always check to the always, end. Always, <laughs> always to the end. That's the lesson that we had to learn. So I had to take it down from Amazon. And then uh, Katie did the whole, you know, 
copy paste of the of the edited version. The the Katie version. I named it that because I was like, that's the correct version. You have to remember <laughs> it. <laughs> and then uh, and then I uploaded it again, and then you know did the whole bit again, and then it it fucked with me again because why the hell not? Um, but yes, now you can actually get the correct version into your heads, which is the version that Katie edited. I'm aware that the paperbacks, like physical version, is a bit more expensive than your usual book. However, this is because Lily is doing this independently, and it would be very much appreciated if you would just, you know, fork out a little bit extra than you would usually pay for a book because it's done independently. Yes. And uh, it, I promise it's, it's pretty damn good. Like we did, we did, we made a pretty cool thing. Mm. Like, we did our best. <laughs> yes, and it's 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 actually very pretty. Like it is. The, the quality of the paper is all very nice and, yes. and, and it, 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 all, it reads very nicely on the page and all that sort of stuff. Look. The pictures are very nice. I have no idea if you managed to like get the, the pictures aligned a little sure better on the page. I um, tried. Because <laughs> you see what I, because like, this is the first thing I sent to you and I got the, it was like, these pictures are like most of the way across the page. And I think that's really the big issue. <laughs> yeah. I hope, uh, I hope it worked out in the, in the new version because they come out way too much to this side mm. but you can you will get these beautiful I, uh, this is one of my drawings but i want to show dennis dennis because uh, and these ones are very cool yes because basically what happened is uh i am new to digital art uh but uh i was like i think i can do the portraits and then beautiful denny offered to help with the character sheets and the and the illustrations and everything and uh basically this this is all I my I think my favorite one is uh, it's kind of a spoiler. It is, which is the annoying thing. But you know the one I mean. I think yeah. I, that's my favorite um, as well. <laughs> it, I think it's a really nice picture. It's really beautifully done. Just um, captured it perfectly. Should I show it? No, don't show no, it because we want people to buy your book. <laughs> okay, 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 that's fair. That's fair. Uh, I will show another one from from Danny, uh, a character character one. Why not? And a character one. Like, There's yeah. Naira. That's Naira, yeah. So yeah you're, you're you're so blown out. <laughs> I am. This is it's the ring light. It's the ring light, and and these pages are very like it's very They're very white. <laughs> no, oh, okay, it's better. It's better, but it's. it's I think what my favorite thing about that one is is I, I I remember looking at it being like, man, her posture's terrible. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> oh, ma'am, stand up straight. <laughs> <laughs> well, because Naira is cool. She's like. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I have can't. a curved spine. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, uh, but yes, this is the book. It's 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 so nice. It's so nice to actually it's hold like it. A, it's a full book too. It Just is full book. It's a it's a full on story. So if you like fantasy and especially a more adult kind of fantasy, like I wouldn't say I'm George R. R. Martin because I'm I'm not. Uh, and I am much nicer to my characters, although some people would disagree <laughs> with that statement. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I, I did this thing where we had all the uh, beta readers and, and and everything. So there are people who, who actually read this book before it came out and they wrote reviews. And uh, I put some of my favorite quotes uh, in, into the book itself. Uh, and you know, all of them are very humbling, and all of them are like, Haha, "This is about my book. Are you sure you wrote this about my book?" But they did, and it's beautiful. But then there are people who compared it to to the Lord of the Rings, which is a big favorite of mine, and I'm like, "Ah, <laughs> my heart." <laughs> or <Also>. Harry. <laughs> If anybody uh, reads the book and you notice a, a sort of the, the occasional moment where characters start to swear a bit more, that's Katie. Although <laughs> I, I was like, no, nah, they would swear in this. <laughs> <laughs> Although to be fair, I think in real life I am the one who who swears more. Like I think from, from... you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, I swear you... a lot. I swear a lot too. You know. I, I, every time I do one of those word clouds, um, from my, that takes like you know from from your Twitter feed. Yes. It's just it, like what, most like it's usually things like I'll have watching in there and like 
Well, it's like little words where like I'm, I'm like watching a thing or something, and then fuck and fucking. I usually <laughs> tell the <them> thing. <laughs> okay, but here's the thing. Uh, so, I don't swear as much in English, although ah. I really like it. Like, you know, I love motherfucker. That's like one of my. But but no one can say it like Samuel L. Jackson says it. Let's be fair. Uh, but in Hungarian, we have some pretty damn good swear words that you probably never even heard about because a lot of them are like completely made up by by two different swear words and just putting them together and it's for for an, for for a british person anyone it's like oh these people are sick <laughs> and to be fair yes <laughs> yep i can i can confirm yeah. i swear a lot i do yeah. me too but it's okay Look, I read somewhere that if you swear a lot, you're actually intelligent. So I take it. I, I think that, that was just read. That was just written by some people who swear a lot and go, "Fuck you, <laughs> fuck you." Um, but yes, uh, that's the message I wanted to put in here. I'm gonna put the links for it down in the comments below. And once again, I am sorry for the price, but that's independent publishing for you. So you know, if you can still think about it, if you it, feel like. In supporting an independently published author. We, we both, yeah. both also, work very hard. So. You know, if you have Amazon, like everything is Kindle Unlimited, you can yes. technically get it for free. Basically. So, yeah. But like getting the physical copy is very nice. Mm. I confirm. It I is. had it for a little bit. I you sent will, that to her. Yes. <laughs> so you will have it properly. The, the right version as well. Like, you know, the proper one. Uh, which it, it, it's also is going to be a news for you as well. But I will say this, for the first time ever, I started writing book two. So You've done it? Okay. Yeah, I started it because I already had like this little notebook full of everything I wanted in. And, and you know, where I want the characters to go and everything. And I was like, it's time. So... Mm -hmm. It's it's coming. It's coming. And now I don't have to translate because I actually gonna write it in English. You're writing in English, yeah. <laughs> so, that's a think, nice help. You remember what I said about uh using words like big all the time and chuckle? You need to keep an eye on that. A thesaurus is like your friends. <laughs> Look, you're going to be one who's editing it again, so I'm like, sorry in advance, I'm trying. I know, but like I, this is why I'm 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 encouraging you to think a little bit outside of like your usual word I, choices I and be like, how? Or maybe I've used this one a bit too much. Maybe I can find something else that's a little bit different. I try. I will. I promise. I I am already like very picky with my words, so I actually managed to write like seven pages, which is not bad. Uh, good. It's good. Uh, but I'm like, I I went back. I read it again, and I was like, ah, oh, shit. Take out. Take it out. No, you have to switch. <laughs> I I do that as I go. Most that's how I used to write all my essays. It's why I had such trouble uh, in school doing like because it was I I'm really bad at like I I never pretty pretty much never read back my own essays after I read them. I would write them once and go I'm done now, and I would send it off because I was doing it like the night before. <laughs> I did very well on these. I, I think you know, it comes from a place of just not overthinking them, but it did mean that I was never particularly good. I mean, that I, I wasn't very good at like planning things out and mm -hmm. sort of doing it in bits. I would actively edit as I went. So it was like, I, if I couldn't find the flow of the paragraph, I would just go back and change the entire paragraph until I could get to the next bit. It really got in the way when I was trying to write my script. Uh, I really had to <laughs> rethink the entire way that I write things because I kept writing beginnings of the story and then be like, I can't get any further. This is very frustrating. Yeah. And I learned uh, a tip that I actually did pick up is that if you're writing a script, you shouldn't go straight into the script. Um, sometimes it works, but what can be very useful is just writing a synopsis and then mm. writing another synopsis that's a bit longer that has a bit more detail, mm. and then another one that has it's a bit longer and has even more detail than that. And then eventually you get to like a like a really long synopsis that has all the details that you actually want in it, and then yeah. you can start writing the script. Okay. That was the process that I ended up going through, and it did help a lot. It was still very frustrating and I also did it within I went from doing that to writing to editing my third draft in about a month yep 
yeah, that's writer's eye for you. Yeah. And then every every couple of months, I go, hey, I should go through and edit this again. And then I find bits that I really like, and then I find bits that I absolutely do not like because they were like pushed on me by my tutors being like, yep. what if you did this? Like, I hate, I don't like the opening to it, mm. but I also don't know how to change it now. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Anyway. It is, I, which reminds me that I still have to read it. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. It's been very busy. I apologize because I've been a very bad friend to many people lately. I so. uh, apologize. I uh, apologize. I am sorry. Uh, it's Look, I now have a, a regular job and then I will have to prepare for Comic Con. And I know that I've been neglecting my friends and other things as well. So I have to get better at time management because it sucks. Uh, I hate I hate it that I am not more in connection with people that I love. Uh, so yeah, I will I will get better. I promise. Pinky promise. It's okay. Um, <laughs> but uh, let's go to the bit uh, where we talk about what did we watch. What? Right. Um, I will say that yes. I knew when we were doing our, our little live stream, I said that there was definitely something else that I watched and I couldn't remember what it was. I remembered what it was like after we finished. Okay. I watched Dirty Dancing. Oh, yes, that you was did. the thing I watched. Yes. And I didn't, I forgot to talk about it, but I really liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's oh, a good movie. That was a very scary look that I just, I p- kind of pulled my eyelid <laughs> up as I was <laughs> scratching my eyebrow. Yeah, I really liked it. I was, it was, I, I have a couple of tweets that did absolutely no numbers at all, but I thought were hilarious, where I started the movie and it gets to that point near the uh, beginning when she goes to the party. The, the, all the crew, the you know crew that works at the um sort of holiday center or whatever mm. the fuck it is yeah um and they're all like dancing and I went in my head I was just like the middle aged conservative within me was just like oh, this movie's about sex <laughs> uh, it my was coffee like, almost landed on the laptop so thank you. <laughs> it was like I had this moment of being like I kind of understand why the 50s like rock and roll movement was so like um for like the 50s into the 60s where, yes. where it was like that kind of dancing coming about and it was being seen as like obscene I was like I was a little bit of being like I kind of understand why <laughs> and I'm watching this sort of because it really is just a bunch of people just sort of vaguely grinding on each other I and mean, it's just sort of like is this appropriate to be doing in public and then I go, I tell the conservative middle-aged woman in my brain to shut the fuck up and I continue watching the movie. <laughs> yeah. It's but like yeah, I, I really liked, I thought Patrick, I thought that um, Patrick Swayze was very cute in it. Mm. Um, I also liked the fact that it really was this sort of, there was, there's a lot of things about it that actually did age quite well. Some of it doesn't. Yeah. But like, because it's a movie from the 80s set in the 60s it's mm. like yeah. um but i thought that the this sort of, the kind of whole discussion about him being this sort of like low lower class person and just not being seen and they're sort of objectified by um all sort of you know wealthier affluent um women at this place and he's just like i don't i just want to be seen as a person with like thoughts and ideas and i was like damn this is like very like kind of present i guess mm. yeah Which i am yeah. um, yeah, I liked it a lot. Nice. But that was that was the one from like weeks ago that I watched. I've watched a bunch of other stuff since then. Mm. Do you want to go into something you watched or do you want me to keep going? Uh, we can do one one. I don't mind. Okay, you go next. Okay. Uh, so I started a new TV show. Uh, and it was actually something that Troy put up on his Twitter. Uh, no? With the caption that I hope this one is going to be good. Uh, it's The Last Man. Oh, the uh, why thing. Yeah, why, yes. Why yeah. the last man. And uh, I really, really enjoy it. I'm not yeah. going to lie. I've been hearing really good things. I saw the trailer was a bit like, I don't know if I'm in the mood for another post-apocalyptic but it's, sort of thing. It's uh, which is why I haven't gotten really thought about like watching it. But I have yeah. heard like both people who have stuck it on have been like, oh, good. This, it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. It, it took me like... I. I think I I wanted to watch it mm. because of the post uh, 
apocalyptic feel to it. Yeah. Because I kind of, it sounds weird, but I kind of miss it. <laughs> I see, but, I'm still like totally burnt out from that genre. I feel like I've done it and I've had it enough of it for an age. Um, I, I think what <laughs> brought me to it is because it's, it's very different uh, in a way that, uh, you know, I'm not spoiling anything when I say because it's in the trailer and it's it's yeah, in the description. It's the premise of the show. It's the premise of the show. It's like all the men are dead. They just drop dead. But like from uh, humankind, from the animals, just done. And basically there's this one guy uh, who, who's alive and, and they don't know why he survives. And, and you know, that's, that's the whole uh, thing uh, in it. And sure, there is like, uh, you know, cliche things in there that we already saw in similar things, but I really freaking love, love the idea behind it because they don't really, like, they concentrate on him a lot of times, like, uh, you know, how he struggles to get by, how mm. he feels like he needs to hide that he is a living man and, and whatnot. But I, I love I love how they show uh, what will happen to women and how it would change them and how it would affect them because um, I I think a very important part of the the whole idea of of men all of the men dying is it's it's the it's gonna sound very weird but it's the better situation in a way because mm. if all the men die. We still have the sperm banks, for example, and it's it's like a highlight in, in one of the episodes as well. So basically, humanity can go on for at least a little yeah. while longer. But if it's the other way around, men are fucked. <laughs> like, they, I mean, after a while, they are just like, done. Uh, so th th you know, it's, it's interesting to see how they would deal with with the whole thing and uh, they they highlight things that are not jobs that women usually do like for example uh what happens with the oh i wanted to say it the uh uh it's not coming to me i don't and I, I i really can't guess at what you what you're I mean, going I, for um, either the uh, uh the chernobyl uh what is the it nuclear power plant? yeah yeah like what happens with that for example, because there's not many women that you know work in in nuclear power plants, for example, and that's that's like a huge part of one of the episodes as well. And it's interesting to see like how they would proceed or how. Mm -hmm. they... Here's the thing about it, yeah, that kind of gets in, and I don't know if maybe it addresses this, but yes. when it comes to these things of like all the men die. It, I, my brain goes, okay, what are you classing as men? Are you talking about oh. people with dicks? Oh, are oh, you oh. just talking about... Just, like, a, just the chromosome, the, the Y chromosome. So there are trans people completely alive. Do they actually one. like address yeah, that yeah, in the yeah, show? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well then yeah. that makes it more interesting to me. Because yes. like, that's the thing I worry about in those sorts of things, where they're just sort of like, hey, you know, you know, men and women, it's like, that's not how this works. We're no. all around this point now where we recognize that that's not how gender works. No, no. <laughs> And they completely address it. Like it's 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 actually a big part of it. Okay, that's interesting. It is. It is. A, it's it's very makes interesting. It's a little bit more, and it makes me a little bit more interested in what. Yeah. Because yeah, it's one of the things I just I can't stand that sort of like complete disregard, like just lack of of, no. of um. It's just that yeah, that refusal to recognize it. Oh no no, there's not as simple as that. And by ignoring that as a thing that actually exists, you know. In reality, yeah, um, you're completely ignoring a whole section of people's lives um, mm. within the the context of your your um your show and all mm -hmm. that sort of stuff, and that's frustrating. Um, shout out to all the people who got real triggered when I told them uh, to get fucked <laughs> the other day. <laughs> that was a good one. That, that was a good one. Let's oh man, it was really funny. <laughs> it was. It was. Um, I woke up and I was like, oh man, people are kind of pissed at this one. <laughs> I didn't even say anything mean. No, <laughs> no, absolutely not. But you know, yeah, no. it's that tweet here. Yeah, no. Yes, I will. I will. Uh, uh, but yeah, they address that. Uh, you know, there are a lot of very interesting uh, storylines. Diane Lane uh, plays uh, Senator Jennifer Brown, and uh, you know, 
she will become very, very important. Um, but I will shout out Ashley Romans, who's who's one of the main characters. Uh, she She's plays got a very familiar name, uh, Agent uh, Three Fifty Five, and uh, she is freaking awesome. I I I am in love with her. She Did you say great. Romans? Romans, yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's she's great. I I really really, really like her, um, but uh, altogether I I like it so far a lot. Like uh, I was excited. Uh, was it yes on, on Monday when the new episode came out because it's it's a weekly thing, um, and uh, we are at episode four right now and uh, we got the first three episodes all together, which is like another weird thing that uh, yeah they they're, they're doing that more often at the moment. I feel like it's a way to get people interested yeah uh, to a certain point to be like are you a bit of what enough are you gonna wait a week keep coming back if you're if you're into this so annoying because <laughs> I, I i i used i i was very confused when the boys did it because it was the first one that did it but now i can kind of see the logic behind it because your pilot is not necessarily always your strongest episode True. um because it especially if you're doing like a like a normal television pilot where yeah. it literally is the thing that it, it's, it's going to stand on its own. It often rushes things, mm. has to set a lot of stuff up. If you kind of make your pilot episode three episodes, you have a bit more time to introduce everybody to the concept of your world and all that sort of stuff and like let things play out. Yeah. I'm starting to see the logic of it a bit more. Okay, but, but it is still very frustrating. Yeah, it is, and the boys did it at season two. Like, I get it. Yeah, that's the other thing. Season one, like, right, that's but... the other thing I think that was really confusing about the boys doing it. Plus, I think he did it for like four episodes. Yeah, or something like that. I was like, this is. Yeah. It's like half your season already out, and you're just what? Why? <laughs> so annoying. It was so. Annoying. That was that was very confusing. That but was... if you're doing like a pilot and you kind of want to yeah. give like a chunk at the beginning yeah. to be like, I'm. We're really setting this up for you. Keep coming back after week one, please. Yes, <laughs> yes. Like I'm not gonna lie, it, it really intrigued me. But I think even if it was, it would have been just the first episode, uh, I would have come back because it, I, it, I felt that it's it's a very interesting thing and they can wonder, do great things with it. I wonder if there's numbers that like back up, um, like a higher engagement, like re-engagement after like if you get like a higher number of episodes Possibly. to start off with. Yeah, possible. Now I'm curious. <laughs> So yeah, I I highly recommend it because I I think it's it's actually really great. So you know I can't wait to episode five and six and that's Sorry, it's I gonna be fuzzy then. <laughs> it's gonna be ten episodes, so I'm like I'm happy. Please don't cancel it. That's like I can't I can't handle cancellations again. <laughs> I think it's doing pretty well to be fair. It they've is. been they've been publicizing the shit out of it. It's uh, I keep getting ads for it, so it's kind of like okay. So they're really banking on this one. I can tell. It's it, I really enjoy it. I think it's really good. Uh, mm. But yeah, yeah. Let's hear your next one. What's more interesting to talk about? Um, I watched John Wick, which oh yes, he did. I did. I kind of stuck that on and was like, well, this was fun. Yeah. It wasn't anything. Uh, like I did nothing about it surprised me. Let's put it that way. Yeah, but the, the uh, what I didn't write to you, but the action itself, it's like... yeah, it's good. It's really good. I was very, I very much enjoyed it. Very I don't know, maybe I, I kind of watched it in because I did watch it in, like in the morning, mm. so it was, it, it, and I wasn't maybe I wasn't as dialed into it as I could have been if it was like dark yeah. and it was like late at night, and I was like, it was the only thing I was focused on. But I mean, I liked it very much. I was like, I knew it was going to happen, but I was very annoyed at what happened to the dog. <laughs> Yeah. Like I knew it was gonna happen. Like I went going into it, I was like, I know that this is the plot of the movie, but that dog was so cute. It was so cute. It was such a good dog. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. I completely understand John Mick. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I was. I. I think I said that on the way. This is like watching John Wick, and I'm not gonna lie. If somebody came into my house and murdered my dog, I would also go apeshit. Yeah. John Wick is all of us. It's he's all of us. That's it's also I I also just like the fact that it's it's kind of campy, like the the film. <laughs> it, it's it, it's not entirely serious. It, it's kind of like the entire thing is like he's doing this because he killed his dog. It's like yeah, I fucking did. Yeah, but the dog symbolized even more. I know, but it and that was but it was like the whole like conversation that the guy 
the like the head of that crime yeah, syndicate yeah, yeah. had with his son, where yeah. he's like trying to get it out of him that what he's done. It's like you don't fucking understand. Yeah, <laughs> whose dog you just killed? Oh, I, 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 you know what? I, I really like that because it, it for me, it didn't feel forced. Mm. Like, like it, it. I think the scene itself was like so well done from from the actors as well that that i was like okay so he is a big deal like he he is someone they fear so i'm like mm, i'm intrigued like i remember mm. watching it the first time in the cinema and i was like Ooh. it is also just like piano uh oh. like just being yes. great like just that fucking scene where they've like, captured it and it's like people keep asking if i'm back i'm like yeah <laughs> I think, I think I'm, I'm back. back. <laughs> so good. So like, freaking yeah, good. I'll watch this. This is good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's funny um, thinking about it now because it's like, this was just like a an action romp that they decided to make at some point. And it was like, it's like a proper mid-budget film yeah. that you don't really get anymore. And then it, it, it did like the classic thing of just sort of like, we just made this movie and then they just sort of wanted more. So we, now we've made four of them. Yeah. <laughs> And, they, and I they, feel like that hasn't actually happened like organically in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I, is I, quite nice. It is, it is. I will say that uh, it's it's one of those trilogies so far, but we know that there's going to be another one coming out. Uh, that uh, I will say that all of them are a very Pretty decent, great, great quality. So you know, uh, especially uh, well in this case. Uh, the most important part is just perfect in every every single one of them. The action, it's just peak content. I'm I'm like I am in love with the fact that Keanu Reeves does everything. Bang bang bang! It's very good. And and, and he's it, I, I'm gonna put the link here and and I can probably show a little clip, uh, of of him doing the training. It's insane. This yeah. man is like he's always been very like um physical, very as very, an actor. Yeah. yeah. But it, but it's still like it's it's so unreal to see. It's like oh my god, <laughs> it's oh my god. mental. He knows kung fu. <laughs> yeah. He's great. He's great. I love him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I watched. I just stuck on John Wick, and I was like, that was very good. I feel like there's been other stuff as well. So I'm gonna let you go on to another thing that you watch, and I'm gonna. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna talk about this, but this is kind of like the main thing I want to talk about. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to get onto that until I've like gone through all of the sort of other stuff that I went through. And now I'm going to think about what I watched. So you you go and you tell me what else you've been watching whilst I quickly oh. look at my Twitter because I've almost definitely tweeted about some of the other stuff. <laughs> uh, I will say a short one. It's it's a short one because I literally watched it yesterday. I hmm. watched the first episode of Nine Perfect Strangers. Ah, okay. Yes, because, you know, I, I was the one who recommended it because I yeah. read the book. Uh, yeah. And I am very satisfied so far. I'm like, mm. I will. I, hmm. Great. I will say, I feel like, and maybe it's like it, it also feels a little bit intentional because of like just the nature of the show. But because I watched the second to last episode because that came out last week, you know, it feels like it's getting away from itself a little bit because it like everything's kind of imploding at the by the end of it, right? Yes. Um, everything's sort of falling apart and I I, I can't and because it's like it's the second to last episode so I don't know how it's all going to play out just yet but to me it does feel like it's getting away from itself a little bit like there's a bit of bits and pieces where I was just sort of like I don't know how well this is this feels super messy in this this second to last episode and it may be that that comes that meets comes really into focus in the last episode and everything sort of has a very interesting resolution and mm. and it kind of makes everything else, like retroactively feel better like pacing wise but at the moment i was like i think that that second to last episode has been the weakest one that they've had so far mm. okay okay but we'll see you see i i i love the ending of the book like i and i already interesting. told you that uh, the the ending of the book because i didn't like the beginning of the book <laughs> i was actually very bored with it i was like oh, 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 this is not going anywhere i just don't know what to do with these characters and uh, uh and then i got back into it like i did i literally read it halfway through i put it down and then weeks later i went and finished it and that that's when i was like "Ooh, this is actually excellent like <laughs> I, I love this um I will say that uh, from the first episode only, I can very 100% can say that Melissa McCarthy is the perfect choice for Francis. 
she, I Fran, Francis is is uh, definitely up there as as one of my favorites. Yeah. I very much am enjoying her. Um, I think that like I said like within this last episode because it, yeah, you'll I think you'll see when when you get into later yeah. ones. I feel like it's sort of losing its touch a little bit, and uh, um, but her and um, Tony are absolutely. Tony, yeah. I I I mean I just love Tony so much, oh, Tony and how he how he softens is really fun to watch. <laughs> um, uh, and I also feel like I really like um the the married couple whose names I can never fucking remember. Um, um uh, they're rich, the young and rich, ben. yeah, Jessica yeah, yeah. and Ben. Because I don't really, you don't see them as much as some of the other characters, but they're very. I like them a lot. I like Jessica mm. a lot, especially. I I would say that uh, Jessica is played by Summer Weaving. Yes, and, oh, she's so great. She's so. I I literally didn't recognize her because I love yeah her. I know. <laughs> the, the, I saw it. A um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> um, I saw a, a, a an article that was saying that her some of her co stars didn't even recognize because she was wearing like fake teeth, fake teeth, and yeah. and like she had like the the sort of fake tan on and everything. So like when she was out of like the whole thing, there were a lot of them like, the oh, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, she's like, oh my god! I was like, as because I, you know, I obviously the uh, the cast came up at the beginning, uh, and I was like, oh, Summer is in this, and I didn't even know, and I love this woman. Uh, one of my favorite films is is Ready or Not. She's great in it. Yeah, oh, please watch it. It's so. Good. I do really want to. I promise. <laughs> like my um, our friend, my friend, our friend John, yes. who's been on our podcast before, who I love very dearly. Yes. Um. Uh, uh, recommended it to me ages ago, but it, was, it wasn't available on like any actual streaming service because it was not. I don't think it was particularly long after it came out. Yep. It was only available to like rent and buy yep. and stuff. And I wasn't. And it was like, <laughs> I think it was just available to buy. Actually, I think that was the thing that was stopping me from doing it. And it was like fifteen. It was like full price buy yeah, over yeah. Amazon. And I was like, I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> uh, I, I, I will say that I really regretted after watching it at home. I really regretted mm. not watching it at the cinema. Yeah, because I remember I, you saying. Oh, I love it so much. It's it's some and Summer is like the biggest part of why it's really good. Uh, I love that movie. So I was like, oh, okay, Summer is in this, and then and then I waited, like, <laughs> and then I realized, I you know when I realized it, I realized it was her when they arrived at uh, at uh, Tranquil. I was mm. like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think you like I know I have bad facial recognition but I think yours may be worse at oh, times. like they change their hair and you're just like who the fuck is this person I'm, my, mine is horrible mine, I, I don't recognize because I, I work at a bridal shop and sometimes I don't recognize the bride I'm like oh you you oh you were here on Monday oh of course you were oh shit I just I can I don't know it's my eyes, uh, and here I am as as a as you know someone who draws pro- portraits so absolutely incredible. It, it really does astound me sometimes the things that you miss. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say that with all the love and care in the world. <laughs> it's like you're like okay. As an example, when we were trying to get Lily's book back up, she sent me a screenshot of like her pages, like, what the hell is missing? It says there's something outside of the margins. And immediately I was like, the, the title's not in the margins. <laughs> and you were like, I've just spotted it. And I'm like, are you, are you, are you kidding? <laughs> it's right. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> I'm dumb. <laughs> You just gotta take a second to take in all the information before you decide to do things. <laughs> oh. uh, I see you. I love you so much. <laughs> oh, it happens. Yes, the, okay. this show is very interesting, is. and I'll be. I, I, I'm gonna. I just, this inter- This weekend's gonna be very interesting because our friend Leanne. Yeah. Uh, by the time this comes out, we will have done it. But our friend Leanne is shooting her master's film, and I'm going to go give her a hand with a couple of things. Um, I'll do it. I'm going off tomorrow to go meet her with that, but it means that I'm not around over the weekend, which is usually when I watch all my stuff, which comes out on Fridays. Yes. Ted Lasso. I have to miss <laughs> Ted Lasso this week until like oh. Sunday when I get back, unless I can like log into my dad's Apple TV out of my laptop. <laughs> and Leanne doesn't mean to mind me still stopping away for like 40 minutes. Like, I have to watch Ted Lasso. <laughs> <laughs> after we finish filming for the day obviously i'm not that much of a dick I'm very professional um yes <laughs> but it's like 
<laughs> Fridays on my Ted Lasso day, and it's going to be like a really interesting episode this week. Um, especially after Ted Lasso won all those fucking Emmys this week. Hell yeah! True, true. Very so true. happy. Mm. Not, I mean, like the rest of the Emmys, I feel like the crown sweeping all of the drama awards was a bit sort of like, all right, really? Of yeah. all the things that you could have, like, yeah. oh, fine. It, it, um, but I, I, I really wanted Ted Lasso to get all of it, the things it was nominated for um, at least in the comedy sort of things and it was just like nice seeing Hannah Waddingham and um, Brett Goldstein and, and, and Jason Stegas getting the, the Emmys because they deserve they deserve it, they're really good <laughs> I am very frustrated with gay things like, even though I watched Mayor of East Town and I loved it but I'm like this is, mm. se- this is the second time my man, my woman, sorry uh, first it was Angela Jolie who I will stand by this statement. I think Angela Jolie was much better in Changeling than Kate Winslet was uh, in The Reader. And, and I think Angela should have won. And I'm not only saying this because I love Angelina, okay? I'm not biased <laughs> that much. I know I am, but not not this time. Yeah. She's great in Changeling. It was, it, 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 there was like a couple of things I was like, right there, okay. Because I, I, I didn't realize until because I, I went to bed around the time so the first awards were coming in, which were all comedy stuff. So I I, re- I saw that Hannah Waddingham had won for um, yeah. her role as Rebecca. And I saw that Brett Goldstein had won for um, uh, Roy Kent. Fucking Roy Kent. Um, Brett Goldstein, who was so funny, by the way. The fact that he was this sort of like, um, they told me that I can't swear, which is really fucking hard. <laughs> or it's like, they told me that I can't swear, so this speech is going to be really fucking short. <laughs> He's great. I can't wait for you to get around it because we've got three more episodes and then you can just watch the entire thing. Good. And then we can just have a real long chat about how good it is. That's the plan. That's the plan. I oh, then. actually, as it has unlocked other things in my brain, I've got a bunch of stuff that I did watch. So, cool. um, My next one was that, uh, speaking of Apple TV+, Plus, um, they just put up the Broadway cast, um, like pro shot recording of Come From Away, mm. which is a musical about... Um, 38 pl- flights that had be- uh, that had to get rerouted to this um, the largest international airport in North America that's uh, in uh, in a Canadian town uh, called Gander in Newfoundland, um, and uh, on 9/11. So after after the planes hit 9/11, all of these flights had to get rerouted, and they got sent to this like tiny town in Canada. And it was just all about how this town came together to like look after these 7,000 people who got like rerouted from everywhere after this terrible thing had happened mm. and it's so beautiful the music is so good it started and i just started crying for like the entire thing because <laughs> it's got it's just that sort of like innate sense of like oh these people like it, it does not take away from the, the any of like the stuff um like the realities of the situation it doesn't take away from the awfulness of the situation it doesn't take away from the fact that people were still you know hugely racist and islamophobic um, in the in the wake of the attacks, it doesn't shy away from that, but it also doesn't make it into like it just goes. This is what happened, mm. and like this is how people were good, and this is how people were scared, um, and it's just so beautiful. And it's like it's one of those things where I'm like, please release more pro shot Broadway shows. <laughs> like I feel like we would do, like it, it's so I so and it was like they released it obviously for the twentieth um, uh, anniversary of nine eleven. Um, and uh, the cast are incredible. Like the whole setup is brilliant because it's like it's just one of those like um, revolving platforms and a bunch of chairs and tables that they set up into different. Like, they make it into like the plane, and all the characters in the show play like multiple different people. Where they just put like jackets and hats on at times, and they have different accents, but you immediately know who everybody is. Like it, really quickly, you kind of go, oh, I, I, this this person now playing this character, and this person is now playing this character, and you don't lose track of anybody ever. Mm. And I found that very impressive. Like they just did incredible, and oh, I mean, uh, the music is again incredible. Mm. Um, I keep meaning to listen to the soundtrack again, but I, it's really it's it's. Um, admittedly, when I watched it, I was very hormonal, so. <laughs> <laughs> moments where it was just sort of like emotions are up here and it's just hitting that it, it, it's that thing of just like a bunch of people coming together to like do a common good yeah um and it was it was it was just really beautiful to watch and i would recommend uh having a sit down and watch it's like two it's like an hour of 45 something like that oh, that's good. um 
yeah well well worth the watch yeah um yeah so, do you have anything else that you want to talk about or is i watched candyman oh did you mm-hmm. and uh is there any? I heard I kind of got some mixed sort of I was seeing some mixed reviews on it. I think it's excellent. Yeah. Okay. I think it's excellent. I I I definitely would uh, compare it to Jordan Peele's Get Out. Mm. Uh, in a way, I think the person who worked on it was very heavily involved in the the making of Jordan Get Out. Peele is is one of the producers as well. No, but like <laughs> I think the woman who directed it yeah, was yeah, like yeah 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 like, yeah, like a, Costa. yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I think it was great. Uh, it was uh, it was very horrifying in a way that it, you know, it's it wasn't intentionally meant to be. It's yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. it's about the you know actual life, but uh, there's a Candyman who who comes into play and uh, <laughs> some stuff going ooh, on, but also there's like a there's a guy the, who has a hook and it's yeah, all yeah, yeah, it's slightly yeah. supernatural. <laughs> And I, I, I like that it was gory, but not in a way where it was disgusting. It was actually mm. like very nicely played out, and I loved, I loved the camera angles so much. Um, and uh, obviously, Tiana Par- uh, Paris is in it, who I dearly adore. So, mm. and one of my all-time favorites, who's who's also in in my favorite Walking Dead, which is which is Fear the Walking Dead. Uh, I, I always get. Not a surprise. I always get his name wrong. So is this I, Yaya? No, 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 no. The guy who I was thought it was the guy who played um the main character. I will say it in a second. Hang on. In a second. Colin Domingo. That's the one. Oh, okay. Uh, uh who plays Victor in Field Walking Dead, and I love him very dearly. And he's he's in this, and he's great. And ah, oh, I am so happy he's getting uh, other roles as well because. Oh, he's great. He looks like Idris Elba. I when I saw the trailer, I was like, "Oh, that's Idris Elba," and then I was like, "Hold it." Uh, which one? Sorry, what's his name? Coleman Domingo. He played. Uh, uh, who did he oh, play? he does have that kind of look to him, doesn't right? he? Right. Like, I, 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 like he, he's definitely like. I yeah, I know who this guy. Oh yeah, he's in Euphoria. That's yes. where I know him from. I was, I was saying again, he's really familiar looking. Yep. Um. Um. Uh, but no, he, 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 I, he's, he's, I think of him as being the guy from Euphoria, I yep, think. Yep, yep, yep. He's great. Um, he's great. I dearly love him. So I was very happy to see him uh, in this one. And I think altogether the, the whole movie was very, very powerful in message and in scarce as well. Uh, I'm not going to lie, uh, uh, many of the practical effects they used were like proper creepy. I was like, oh, <laughs> this is. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle this. <laughs> so I will say. Okay. Well done. Very cool. Well done. Yeah. Right. Um, I'm going through my mental list of things. Let's see if I, just before I do anything else, I'm going to make sure I haven't missed anything. Okay. Because I think the other thing that I, I watched was, because I watched a couple of things. Obviously, I watched all the sex education. We had a very long oh discussion God, about yes. this uh, over um, um, message. Which I'm aware that really we should probably just have that discussion here, but I've also had that discussion with like three people now, and I can't really be bothered to go over it all again. Um, it's good. Let's just say that. I will say that I think this is my favorite season. I think so. I think it's my favorite as well, and I think there's there's still like things about it that I I might adjust personally speaking. Yeah. Like I really like Maeve and Otis, and I feel like they might be messing us about a little bit too much at this point. Kind of, yeah. Um. But I really like this season. I like what they did for Adam, who I oh, just love so much. I love Adam. <laughs> Adam <laughs> just is love great. Adam yes. so much. I like the fact that the whole, everybody in it is very messy, but I never felt like anybody was actually out of turn in some of the stuff that they did, even if they did stuff that hurt people. That mm-hmm. was the thing I thought was very impressive about it. Um, and the thing that frustrated me about the online reaction, because I'm like, oh my God, you people have no empathy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that is so true. That is so true. Just the, the number of people who are shitting on Otis for what happened with Ruby. I'm like, no, I'm sorry. He did the most mature thing he could in that situation. Fuck yep. you. <laughs> I have to agree. Like, you can force someone to love you. And if it's not there, it's not there. Like, And yeah, I guess the first time like, oh. saying that's nice is not the best thing to do. But he did his best to rectify the situation. He's also he a did. 17-year-old fucking boy. And yeah. he's stupid. Yeah. 
Yeah, but anyway, it, it those are the main points. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I just, I really like like everything that that show has done. I, I love also it. love the, the everything that they did with um, uh, Cal and that just everything that they managed to kind of bring to to their storyline with mm. them being you know non-binary and how that and the fact that they kind of juxtapose that with the other non-binary person and yeah. they and the fact that hope was such an awful fucking villain but like in the best way possible like terrible person spectacularly drawn like yeah. by the writers like the casual racism that was undercutting the entire thing like i don't, i don't know if you spotted this but i think it was like the first i like i already knew going in that she was going to be awful yeah but it was that moment when jackson and adam are sitting next to each other and she immediately assumes adam was jackson yeah yeah, yeah and it's like yeah i was like okay mm-hmm. this says a lot about who you are man yeah. Fucking white feminist bitch yeah <laughs> ashes mother fucking Anyway. She, she was awful. I, 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 mean, I hated her. The spectacular she came work in. by Re- the woman who ob- played her. Obviously, like, obviously. Incredible. But uh, oh, I am very man. angry with Eric. I'm just going to say that. And I, I, I yeah. He is, I still, I stand, I love Eric to death. I love Eric. And I feel like people have been very in the in that again in the same sort of way that that people have been very annoyed at otis i'm like yes he did he did a shitty thing very shitty thing i also feel like the the way he handled it was the most honest and truthful way he could handle it and i'm very proud of him for not um like just you know stringing him along and i also feel a little bit bad to be like (laughs) i i i hated myself for it as i was watching i was like I called this fuck. <laughs> I hated it because it started off so great for them. Mm. And uh, even with the bombs and everything, Adam changed a lot and, and evolved a lot and, and yeah, tried I don't his think, best. I don't, think the show, I, I don't think the show took away from that at all. I think that the show no. absolutely honoured the fact that Adam has changed, but also honoured the fact that Eric is not the same person as well. Okay, yeah, obviously, but uh, but I was I was still like, oh, Eric, I love you, but fuck yeah, you at the I same mean, time. <laughs> yeah. I, I I'm excited to see how they you know continue to grow into better people as they keep going. Yeah. It's like yeah. the whole the whole exciting thing. I'm also sorry if I spoiled anything. I did try to keep it as vague as possible uh, for people who haven't seen the show yet. Um, yeah, we do that here. That happens. We do. Sorry. We do. Sorry. Um, yes. Go on. Rewinding. I watched a movie called um, Sleeping with Other People because it had been a while since I'd watched a proper rom-com. Uh, and yeah, it came it came up on my... It might, somebody was... Because I follow a bunch of people who are very into Ted Lasso and it's got Jason Sudeikis in it. Somebody was making a bunch of gift sets comparing Sleeping with Other People to Ted Lasso in like these sort of weird sort of like cinematic parallel kind of ways. And I was like, this seems like a fun little movie. It's, uh, yeah, it's Jason Sudeikis and Alison Brie they like ah, yes. meet in college, um, lose their virginity to each other, and then don't see each other again for twelve years. And when they do finally meet again, they realize that they're both like serial cheaters mm-hmm. in their relationships. And it's just a really sweet, funny movie. Like I really liked it. Um, yeah, it was just it was one of those ones where I was like, I haven't watched a movie like this in forever, and I really enjoyed being able to. I like little fun rom com films where people are just like really good at talking to each other. Like I know it's not anywhere close to realistic, but like I love really eloquent characters. It's one of my favorite things. Um, and it's just, a, it's just a nice movie. I ended up, yeah, I rented it on Amazon and I just sort of stuck it on. Mm. And it was it was the it was the first time I, I it was like a proper I sat down put the movie on and I kind of tried not to look at my phone for like a couple of hours whilst it was on. Yeah. Um, it was really nice. It's a good movie. Yeah. Should I talk about this one now. Or do you want to talk about anything else? Did I watch anything? I know what I'm yeah. excited for. I will say that. I will recommend. I have that. a couple of things that I'm excited for, but they're not going to be out for a little bit. Mine is out t- tomorrow. Tomorrow? Ah. Is it is it Thursday tomorrow? It's Thursday tomorrow. Yes. Oh yes, then it's out uh, tomorrow. It's called the Night House, and it's with uh, uh, it's the Night horror. House. Yes, it's it's a horror thriller 
basically. Um, and I just saw uh, the trailer. I didn't know about this movie, but I am now very intrigued to watch it because it looks insane. Uh, it's it's the kind of psychological thing that I love so much. So uh, it looks it looks very good. Uh, oh, I did read a little bit about this. Yes. Um, the most the I think the most of the reviews that I saw for it basically said. Um, it is quite good, but the premise gets a bit drawn out. But Rebecca um, Rebecca Hall basically ties everything together very well. She is like the center point mm. for the whole thing, and actually does a very good job of like yeah. holding it together. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It it looks like I I was very intrigued by the trailer, so that's that's what I am looking forward to watch. Uh, the other thing that it's it's still not out, and I am very frustrated about it because I can't seem to find a release. The date is Guillermo del Toro's uh, next horror album. Oh yeah, that that just Antlers. got a trailer, didn't it? Yeah. Um, what's it called? Antlers. It should have been out last year, but obviously it didn't come out last year. Did this? I feel like this had a different name when I was looking at, it. or maybe this is just a different movie. It's it's called Antlers, so I'm like. I was produced by Guillermo del Toro. Is, That's yeah, what I'm yeah, getting yeah. confused with. There was an a, like a Guillermo del Toro directed movie that had oh, a trailer uh, come out the other day. Yes, yes, and that's yes, what yes, I'm yes, thinking yes. of. Yes, no, no. This is I a have a movie. release date here saying the 29th of October for the UK. Ooh, okay, that's a step closer. Then I am very interested in this movie. It looks insane, so I'm like, <gasps> I need to see this. I'm, maybe it's just because <laughs> of the antlers, and that's just what I think of in that kind of like vibe now. Mm. But it's got. A Hannibal vibe from these pictures. That... You ever watch Hannibal? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I it's just because the antlers are, oh God, this is, very, this is very creepy looking. It's very creepy and I love that. I, I miss horror films that are creepy as well because I, I feel like lately they are just mostly going for the either the scary, the very scary parts or the very gory parts and I need the, the in-between. Uh, yeah, this why, has got like... Um, yeah. I, again, I haven't seen it, but like from the pictures, I'm getting Babadook vibes. Ah, uh, sort of, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's it's it's. Watch the trailer. It's very creepy. It's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> my horror loving mind is like, yes, please. Now I have to find out what that Guillermo del Toro movie is. You will find it. Um, I mean, just click on his name, and it's. It wouldn't let me click on it. That was the thing. I had to. <laughs> I was like, oh, copy and paste this fucking thing. Um. Yeah, he had one that yeah, came out the other day. I must find where it is. But I saw a lot of people very excited for it, whatever it is. Mm, um, Nightmare Valley. That's what oh, it yeah, was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. God fucking IMDb with its dark mode. <laughs> but yes, it seems like a lot of people. Oh, it's got Bradley Cooper in it. Well, this is quite the cast. Mm. Holy shit. I didn't realize how cool this cast was. Yeah. Bradley Cooper's, Rooney Mara, Kate Blanchett, Willem Dafoe. Sorry, Willem. I always Willem. do that. Willem, Willem Dafoe, I, I Tony well. Collette. So, yeah. This yeah. is a great cast. Fucking yes. hell. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, it's got Connie. That's very fun. This sounds great. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's, that looks very cool. Mm -hmm. Um, All right. I'm going to cool. talk about this now. Yeah. So this is The Kid Detective. Yes. I heard about this movie. Uh, there was a, there's a YouTube channel called Screened that does this film club thing. Mm -hmm. I think they call it a film club, but they basically come up with like a um, like like we do sometimes. They come up with like a genre, and they talk about like the, the staples of that genre, and then they will do a separate video where they'll talk about like here's ten movies that you might be interested in watching mm. that are in this genre, and they do it spoiler free. Um, it's like some of the best that they think of the genre and they mentioned this film which came out last year mm. um uh the, i think it's the, the guy who who wrote and directed it i think his name is evan morgan mm -hmm. and it is like a proper like noir detective story mm. set in the modern day about this guy whose name's abe played by adam brody um and he as a kid was this like the town detective he was known as the kid detective he kind of solved all the little kind of like town-based crimes like somebody stole some money from from the the, the, the collection box or mm -hmm. um somebody lost a cat or like he he's the kid going around like solving where things have gone missing and all this sorts of stuff and it plays out like a proper mystery nice. but he's like now in his like early 30s and he's still doing the kid detective thing mm -hmm. 
he's got like a private detective's office and he's got like the hot the, the movie like opens like a proper like detect like you know like a really not stereotypical way but like archetypal way mm-hmm. where he goes into work one morning he dr- he he drinks a lot and like there's a young girl there who's like kind of this femme fatale kind of creative like um but she's not like you know she's 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 a teenager and she comes in and she's like hey um i want you to find out who murdered my boyfriend mm. and he's like case a real case and it kind of ties into all this stuff um from his like childhood where the the girl who was his secretary went like missing mm. and he put on this pressure on, on himself to find her and then I, it's so good i like i don't really i don't want to spoil anything about it um because it was like it's funny in a way that's kind of unexpected. Mm. Um, it's like, it's that really sort of bland, um, like like everything's done in a sort of, a, that kind of w- almost Wes Anderson way mm. where everybody speaks very monotone. Mm. Um, but it means that some of the lines come out like incredible. There's just, <laughs> there's just one bit where like, um, uh, this girl whose name I can't remember in the, um, in the movie now, which is very annoying. Um, I feel like I should. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> no, it's not gonna it. happen. It's not gonna happen. Um, she, uh, she basically says that um, she reveals that her his secretary basically told everybody about something that had happened, or was like showing off to people, and he just says in the most like flat tone, he goes, "What well, a cunt." <laughs> <laughs> and just the way he delivers it, like fucking floored me. <laughs> oh it just it's i think and i think the end to the film is one of those ones that i just thought about for a while because i it, like it, it was just kind of finished and i was like mean what does it mean i think i figured it out but i don't obviously don't want to get into it because i really think this is a worth a really worthwhile watch i bought i had to buy it because it isn't like a like a quite an under the radar indie release mm-hmm. um but it was like five pounds on amazon like i had to buy it like on um, prime like so now I just own it. So I can just watch your game or, or like, but it's so good. And especially if you know a lot of like the really, like the archetypes of the detective genre, mm. it, it it is incredible how well it blends this sort of like kid detective like idea with like the really um, stereotypical like det- n- detective noir. Like it almost feels like a Raymond Chandler novel, but mm. like, the premise of it is that he used to be a detective as a kid and he just never stopped doing it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's like, there's a ab- level of absurdity to it. Um, but it doesn't, it still takes the, like, the mystery of it very seriously. I just think it's fucking brilliant. <laughs> really recommend it to people. Because it's one of those ones where it was just like, oh, fuck, I forgot how good the like, indie movies are. Like, yeah. Movies like this are so good. Um so shout out to Screen for like telling me about this one because I had had it in the back of my mind for ages and I was like, you know what? I will stick this on. Um, yeah, the apex of the movie is like... Excellent. Uh, no. I watched a very horrible movie and it just came to me. Oh no. It's like, oh, oh, why? It's, um, it's on Netflix and it's a German film. And I don't remember the title. Oh, the prey. <laughs> prey. Huh? That's that's the title. And it's... As in to pray, or as in you are pray. You are pray. Uh, and it's, ah, it's 2019 film. It's just so bad. <laughs> 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 like I proper suffered on it. I was like, they made the dumb because it's a horror. Oh, it's it's a thirteen percent on yep. Rotten Tomatoes. Yep, I regret again that I didn't check it, but I was just so happy to watch something that is a thriller, horror type of thing uh, that I did watch it, and uh, I fell asleep on it twice. Uh, that's how exciting it was. They make incredibly bad decisions on purpose just to move the plot forward. Uh, uh, the worst! The worst. Uh, they, the, it's, it's like... <laughs> I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I. I wanted to start counting how many times they touch touch each other on the face, or or just patting each other on the shoulder, because I swear to freaking out. Uh, especially at the beginning, at at the first twenty minutes, they they always just. 
And I'm hey, like, man. fucking stop it, please. It's very annoying at this point. You can't be these good friends and then be bitch with each other uh, the next few minutes. And I'm like, ah. I just Googled it. And you know how, like, on the little sidebar, it gives you a bunch of, like, details about, like, yeah. the movie that you Google. And that's, like, it gives you, like, ratings. And then it will give you, like, audience reviews. Yes. First one that just comes up says, what did I just watch? Five guys stumble aimlessly around a forest, making embarrassingly, increasingly bad decisions as the slowest villain in the movie hit store in the history <laughs> <laughs> well we just shot at yes are two of our friends already dead yes, yes. but let's start down this open hang on let me get the rest of it let's starting down this open uh, forest road and occasionally glance behind us to see if the killer is still there yep. you can also talk about my impending promotion at the same time yep <laughs> yep and that promotion doesn't mean anything in the end. It's like, <laughs> why the fuck do I have to listen to it then? And and uh, 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 it was so frustrating. I was like, oh, this can't be this bad. Like, I can't believe it's it's really bad. And you never find out, like, because it, it was a woman who was killing them. But you never find out why. Because they, uh, they reveal what happened to her and why she became this obsessed killer. But why oh, is she targeting them? I have no idea. Maybe I'm just dumb there. and I just don't understand it. Like it's no, I mean, considering how low these reviews are, like the majority of the reviews on Google for the audience reviews are one star. Yeah, it's a one That's star. That's how you know it well. tends to be bad. It's really bad. It's really bad. And and they try to be very artsy with it, and is and and literally the whole film, and I'm not joking. The whole film is like they do a scene. That scene either contains them walking and then sitting down and talking about something or running away and then sitting down and start talking about something and touching each other, obviously, because they are such good friends that they have to do this all the fucking time to each other. And I'm like, (laughs) oh, God, why? It's just don't watch it. I'm sorry. I hadn't heard about it, and now I really don't care about it even more. <laughs> if you want to suffer, go ahead. But I don't know. <laughs> Apparently, it's on Prime in the UK. So oh, there you God. go. <laughs> it's it's like it's it's promoted as a Netflix film on Netflix. So, oh, oh. how bizarre! Uh, it's really bad. I was I was proper suffering on it. I was like, <laughs> why, <laughs> why? But yeah. That's a bad movie for the end. Um, <laughs> like, sorry. <laughs> could have ended on my great review of Kid Detective. It would be really I'm... worth watching. And you were like, nope. I'm sorry. Bad movie. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, we, let's let's uh, uh, close on a, on a uh, cheer, cheery note. Tell you what. I can talk about the thing that I'm really looking forward to, which is coming out next month. I mean, actually, like, oh God, like three weeks from now, I think something like that. Third season of Succession because the 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 full trailer just oh, came out the other day. Yes. Looks so fucking good. I'm so excited. I'm just oh man. I read a whole like really long article in Variety where they did like a full like breakdown of like yeah. like like it was one of those like reporter went to set mm. talked about like a ton of stuff to do with like the yeah, filming yeah. and whatnot. Um, and it was just like oh man, it looks it just looks so good hmm. like more of the same excellent show that we've all nice. devouring nice uh Kendall looks fucking deranged i'm so excited <laughs> i just believe you on that because i still haven't watched it i will get he's, around to he's, it he's, he's a little deranged he's not well uh, gotcha gotcha uh i will say that i am very excited next month for you season three uh, i was like me <laughs> you yes oh. i mean Next well, month, yeah, it, dep- this... it depends on um, how, yeah. yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Maybe, fingers, who knows, we'll crossed. see. Fingers crossed. We'll see. Um, we'll see. Uh, but yes, you season three is coming in next month. Uh, Netflix, I need to know when Lost in Space uh, final season comes out. I am very frustrated with you right now, so please. I imagine if you're going to find it, oh, I don't, hang on. Let me let me do a little quick Google, because Go we've got ta which I still annoys me. It's not a T sound. The, the sound of the, the, the Google, not the Google, the Netflix, I'm looking at Google, the Netflix um, logo thing makes is not ta dum It's definitely ta dum But it let's is. not go there. Let's, um, uh, yeah. let's not get into it. But I'm going to look, I have a feeling if it's going to, if they're going to give you any information about it, it will be on I Saturday. I really hope so. I need and they've, they've, they've been like doing like a ton. Hang on, let me look at that. The global Netflix event. Yes, um, please. Yes. I, where, where, ha, what happened to your website? I, you had like a full error. I found it. 
with like all of like a bunch of stuff. Oh my god, you went black. <laughs> they, they made it. They made the page really dark. Hang on, let me just turn. What the hell? <laughs> there we go. I fixed it. Um, yeah, that, 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 that. And of course, Lost we can we can go out without saying that Venom is coming out next month. My God, so fine. <laughs> I'm oh, excited. No. I am very excited, but I I read a really horrible review, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, but we, the, I feel like we all have to remember that the critics also hated the first movie. I know, I know. What I we want to like, look at is audience reaction, because that's going to be the bit that's important. That's true, that's true. They um, say that okay. the mid credit scene is insane. Oh, there's two uh, end credit scenes, so, you know. Okay, well, you know, I don't... I, I, I like stay. look. I like to see all the people who worked on the movie because it's nice to give them a minute. Same. Also, unfortunately, Lost in Space is not included in this list. Of stuff. No, okay. I need Lost in Space now. It's I'm the final sorry. season. I am so sad. Clearly, they're still working on it and don't have things to talk about. But like, I feel like our episode next week should be dissecting all the stuff that comes out of this um, event because I, I think there's going to be some some big stuff. Yeah, and it's gonna be. I think there's some, gonna be some small stuff, and I think there's gonna be some big stuff. The big stuff, mostly being, they're definitely going to be dropping a trailer for Cowboy Bebop. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah and it's yeah. gonna be happening whilst I'm working. <laughs> yeah, you wanted yeah. to do a live stream, and then you we realized did, that we and then can't... realized that I'm, I'm not here. Yeah, it's very, it's very, very annoying. Sad. Very annoying. Very sad. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, and there's uh, gonna be a Disney event on 12th of November, which. Is that? Yeah, and they're gonna showcase. Uh, the Isn't it? It's not, of... it's not. It's not. Is it? It is on Disney D- Plus. D- no, I'm saying, is it D23? No. Yeah. No, no, Disney it's a... event. Disney event. Disney Plus. To be completely honest. I I I went. I wrote Disney event, and it, it added an S on the end. I'm like, no, I want the event. Just the one event. Just the one. Uh, twelfth of November. They will uh, showcase the future of Marvel and Star Wars. Uh, next year, Star Wars is going to be insane. Uh, and uh, Shang-Chi is going to arrive on Disney Plus on 12th of November as well. So Nothing. Do you know what it's called? No, it's just a Disney Plus special, I believe. So it's going to come to Disney Plus, basically. D23 is happening in November. On the 19th. So are you sure it's oh, just yeah, not yeah. like a little no. precursor to D23? <laughs> Maybe it is. Who knows? They're going to do a special look at what is the future for Marvel. And uh, maybe they announce a few titles as well. Who knows? Uh, and then they have a special look on Star Wars as well. And what's the future of Star Wars. So That's I love it. I love it already. Very exciting. I'm going to stop looking at it. I just said it to Get you. rid of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, this is it for today. Uh, Le- Leanne? So you are off to Leanne. Tomorrow. I am off to Leanne you tomorrow. You are off to Leanne tomorrow. Uh, very exciting. I am also part of that movie. Just say In like little ways. Little ways. Oh, if you want to follow on with the stuff that's going on with Leanne's movie, you can follow the Instagram account that she yes. set up for the... I think it's called May Short Film. As yes, in I M-E- think so. I, but I will put it um, here. You'll put you put it in in the thing. Yeah. Um, it's going to be great. Um, I read the script today uh, after um, taking ages to get around to doing that, but I, I read it today. And it's 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 a, it's a sweet little short film, and I think it will be. I think it's going to be very good. It will be. Yeah, yeah. I read it as well. We are the inside people. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, so enjoy that, and I am very envy that you guys are going to meet before we meet. <laughs> so- well, she's like, she, to be fair she's definitely not going to get me at my best <laughs> like she'll get me at my work best she won't get me at my social best oh there you go <laughs> I'm, I'm saying she'll get me at my work best that's the plan anyway um <laughs> it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine i know it and uh one last time buy a book buy it yes please love you <laughs> and uh we see you next time Bye. Bye, everybody.